What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Speed Sim. My name is E House. And I'm Amy. And today we're going to talk about a subject that uh, can get people kind of riled up, but I think we can have a nice calm discussion about it. So grab a beer and... Or Mountain Dew. Yeah, or Mountain Dew if you're not beer age, or just don't <laughs> like beer, some people don't. Uh, but we're going to talk about Full Auto. Oh, fun. I love Full Auto. Yeah. Not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well we already know Amy's opinion. Uh, so we're going to talk about Full Auto in practical application and also in administrative speak. Like, you know, when fields should and shouldn't allow or encourage full auto, what weapon systems maybe should or shouldn't use it, all that kind of stuff. So you already have an opinion. Let's hear. As far as full auto goes, it's it's cool every once in a while when like you're trying to range somebody because some guns don't have as much range as other guns or some people's guns are built better than others. And some people who have like rental guns need to use a little bit more full auto when they're trying to reach out and touch people because again, their guns don't don't reach out as far as other people's guns and you know they just need to spread some fire out there that's fine every once in a while but for the majority you should really use semi-auto i hate playing against people who use nothing but full auto like come on just do the semi like it's so easy if your gun is already built from whatever company i'm not going to mention because they're going to give them away just use semi your trigger response is really good. And Polar Stars too. You don't need to use full auto. That trigger response is stupid fast. So just like ease up on the full auto. I don't know why you need it. I think where this opinion comes from in particular is you're discussing the use of full auto here at River City. Yes. Well, and I mean, that's usually where it plays. Yeah. Here at River City. And it's a little bit more close quarters. Yeah. Uh, so like indoor and outdoor yes. kind of CQB type environments, full auto. It makes no sense. I, I, I can agree with that. I think full auto in close quarters is prone to cause problems. Now, personally, I don't really care that much about a short burst, but some people get really upset. Uh, but where I, I care is like when you're holding down the trigger. Yep. And you, you can see that sometimes. Or when people are on full auto in a situation where a round or two a semi would have done the job. Yeah, That's kind of like, all right, did you really need to put six, seven, eight rounds into that guy or hold down the trigger and spray him down? But I think that's where full auto gets its bad rap because mm -hmm. if you look at people who play with full auto and use it in like short two to three round bursts, no one complains, of course no one not. cares. But the issue is that people use full auto and literally will just hose and spray and they end up hitting people with a lot more BBs because in some cases, full auto is used as kind of a crutch against bad accuracy, yeah, really, is what exactly. it comes down to. It's print spray. Um, but at the same time, I don't think full auto is inherently problematic. I just think it can be exploited. Yeah, it comes down to the player. Right. Again, like I said, if someone puts a burst of three or four rounds into me and it's like 15, 20 feet away, I don't really care. That's Neither do I. my opinion. That's two or three. But yeah. like, I don't need a full mag in my face. <laughs> no, but that's the problem is that a lot of people don't have the trigger discipline to know how to use full auto in a way that's not being a dick. Exactly. Uh, so I would actually encourage, if you want to use full auto a lot, I would actually encourage you to play on semi more. And that'll help you to figure stuff out. And then when you switch into full auto, you're going to be less tempted to hold down the trigger and spray on people because... You already know how your gun shoots, and you're probably going to be using it more for suppressing fire and for out at range, where no one likes to talk about it, but airsoft guns' ranges suck. Oh, of course. No, your gun does not shoot 300 feet stock. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. <laughs> but when you're, you are going to be spraying and praying at long range. Right. And that's why I think uh, LMGs have a real niche. Yep. That's what I like for, and this is going on to the Milsim side of things, I like it when only LMGs have full auto at Milsim games. Because number one, it gives LMGs a reason to exist. Yep. Otherwise, any idiot with a box mag on their M4 with is an LMG. Yeah, pretty much. Um, now, and that's also mid-cap rules at Milsim games. And number two, the suppressing fire effect of full auto is a very real thing. Oh, yeah. Like, full auto will keep heads down better <coughs> than semi-auto. Yes, you can keep heads down with semi-auto, but full auto just has a different psychological effect on players, oh, yeah. I think. That's what I've observed, at least. I mean, when people are holding me down in a building, and they, you know, I hear BB smacking in the building. I'm not going to poke my hat out. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> yep. So it works. It's just every idiot, when you go to a pickup game, just uses full auto. It's like, okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, and that, that is something that can be very irritating. But from an administrative perspective, 
How do you deal with that? Full auto? There's not a lot you can do. You can keep telling them to like, you know, ease up on it, but they're not going to listen to you. And there's really no like rule against using full auto. But like from when I get complaints about people using full auto or they're getting hosed or whatever, all I can really do is go up to the person and be like, hey, just, you know, ease up on the full auto. But they do late listen. No, not really, because they don't care. And there's no real like thing you can do about it. Again, like I said, there's no rule against it. So it's, it's one of those things where like I wish I could just be like semi only for the entire day. And you most to like, most likely have to bring it up with the staff and be like, hey, I want to do this. And there's like, why? And then it usually never goes anywhere. So, again, personally, I can't do anything about it. Yeah, but from an administrative perspective, I think what, one thing you can do is, I've seen this a lot, is you can set rules for where full auto can be used. Yep. Uh, I know that uh, at Ground Zero Airsoft in Connecticut, they will say no full auto within the village. Yep. So you're at a woods field. Well, and yeah. you're shooting at 150, 200 foot engagements constantly. Who cares if you get full auto sprayed with 20 rounds at 150 feet? It's raindrops. That too, and you got a lot like it, like you mentioned, Ground Zero has a lot of brush. So yep. it's going to be smacking brush, and it's going to lose a lot of its momentum. Yep. And then you go into the village. Okay, it's CQB now, semi-auto, and that just prevents a lot of issues. And I don't want to single out an age group here, but I think it's a lot of it is a lot of kids. And that renters. you really, yeah, a lot of kids, a lot of rentals, a lot of new players. There are a lot of the guys who don't really know how to be courteous. Yeah. Or, and also, they're the guys who are most likely to be turned off too if someone hoses them down. Exactly. Because then they're never going to come back. But yeah, they're going to get turned off and you're going to stop getting new blood into the hobby and mm -hmm. then it dies. Exactly. Uh, which isn't what you want. Exactly. So, it, I, I think that I like rules where full auto is allowed in the right circumstances where, yeah, you should use full auto out at range or for suppressing fire, but up close, running up on people and spraying them down, I don't, I'm not a big fan of that personally, and I do like games that require most riflemen and people to have semi-only, yep. and then LMGs, hey, you can have full auto, but you have like a 50-foot minimum engagement distance. Yep. I don't mind that. But and, I mean, just to double back real quick, a lot of the like new players that get into it, they see that airsoft guns have full auto, and they're so excited, they just want to shoot full auto, and that's a lot where the problem comes from, too. Because mm -hmm. when people from, you know, whatever, random pickup game, and there's like renters or somebody who's never played before, and they get a gun that has full auto, they're just going to hose people constantly. And then that's where the other people are like, okay, well, if he's using full auto, I have to use full auto, too. So it's like fight fire with fire type of deal, and then everybody's using full auto. Yeah. <laughs> And it is a pain management type of thing, because yeah. like we said, you do have to deal with people who aren't me and aren't okay with getting shot full auto. Well, like, there's a lot of kids on the field too, especially yep. on pickup games. I mean, even like 10 year olds. No 10 year old wants to get like hosed down with a. a I don't want to get kid. hosed down. Like well, I nobody said, a does, burst but or like, whatever. Especially but, little kids. Like, you yep. just got to ease up. Yep. Yeah. So I guess our tips then at the end of the day are going to be uh, if you want to be courteous, Keep it on semi-auto for the most part. Mm -hmm. Useful auto is where appropriate. Suppressing fire, out at range, penetrating brush. Uh, but other than that... If you find yourself using more full auto, you know, go in your backyard, set up a couple of targets, and figure out how your gun shoots, and try to be a little bit more courteous and use semi. Yep. And for field owners, uh, there there's not a ton you can do about it at some fields, but at other fields, I do think there are some methods you can take, whereas minimum engagement for full auto use... Uh, certain areas of the field where full auto is not allowed, mm -hmm. or if you're an indoor field, Just quite honestly, I don't think indoor should have full auto. No, too I much. I think a full auto indoor field. That's not fun. Yeah, there's way too much potential for issues there, in my opinion. Uh, but that's us. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like rating down below and let us know what you think down in the comments below. Once again, this was Speedsim, and my name is Amy. And I'm E House. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. See ya. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I saw that earlier. Oh my fucking god. Alright, I'm going to share this with the camera. This is a uh, shout out to Nathan. This man right here. Shout out to Nathan. Also goes on YouTube as DRZ Productions. Hilarious dude. Okay, cool. I started. Cool.